Hello and welcome back to 34 Diagrams in 34 Days, where I'm drawing all the diagrams you need for AP Microeconomics. Today is day 24 and we are looking at monopolies and subsidies. The first thing I'm going to draw are my axes. We have our cost, price and revenue on the Y axis and we have the quantity or output on the X axis. We need to draw average revenue to start with. It's downward sloping because we have a monopoly and they have differentiated products and barriers to entry and it is like our demand curve it slopes downwards we have our marginal revenue which is twice as steep so we're going to think about where would average revenue cut through my x-axis half it and that's what we're aiming for we're going to aim to draw our average variable cost so that the minimum point is between these curves just to make it easy neat diagram and that is our average total cost the minimum point of the average total cost curve is intersected by my marginal cost, MC. We know a firm that is a monopoly is likely to profit maximize. You profit maximize where MC equals MR. So where my orange curve and my blue curve intersect, I'm going to label that point Q star. To read the price, I go up to my average revenue and across. I'm going to call that P star. Then the cost per unit, I go up for my Q, hit average total cost and go across. I'm going to call that C1. We know that the profit made by the firm is calculated by finding the average profit, the difference between the price and the cost, multiplied by the quantity. And so this area represents the profit made by the firm. Now there's two different ways that a subsidy can be given. We could have a lump sum subsidy given. This would cause no change in marginal cost, which means that there'd be no change in the point where MC equals MR. If we've got no change in the profit maximizing point, we're going to have no change in quantity or price. All that would happen is average total cost would fall. So we'll draw a new average total cost curve. I'm going to call that ATC2. This means that the average cost would decrease. So go to that point where it intersects. I'm going to read across that C2. And the profit made by the firm will increase by this amount. And so the only difference is there's going to be an increase in profit for the firm. 